What's up guys, we're on site today. We have a York rooftop unit here. I have the panel open because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the existing ignition control and put in this White Rogers universal module to test it out. Let's get going on this, guys. So I think the first thing we wanna do here is kill the power and make sure that we have no power to the machine, okay? The second thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the existing module crosses over to the White Rogers module, the AllSpark. So the number on it is right there and it might be difficult for you guys to see there it is right there so that is a 1003-665a and i've gone on to the white rogers website that pertains to the allspark and i've went through the cross reference chart and this one matches up so let's get this changed out now next we need to set this module up so what we're going to do is we're going to download the white rogers connect app we're going to turn on near field communication in our phones and hold the phone close to the module that brings up the setup screen okay so in order to set it up we need to know a few things about the existing module like how many trials for ignition is there is there is it continuous we need to also know things like pre-purge if you don't know that stuff you need to look it up or maybe even time it so what i did with this one is i counted the pre-purge seconds and it's about 15 seconds so we're going to set it up for that and i know the existing module in there is actually continuous tries for ignition so we're going to go with that and i'll take you to the setup screen and i'll show you what it looks like so with near field communication on and your phone what we're going to do is we're going to hold the phone close to where it says place device here and once you do that we're going to connect up to the app and see the setup screen Okay, so now we're in the setup screen, okay? So we're intermittent pilot. That's exactly what the existing module says, intermittent pilot ignition on it. We have continuous tries for ignition. Trial period for ignition is about 90 seconds. I counted, it's approximately 90 seconds and our pre-purge duration is about 15 seconds. And we have a remote flame sensor. Local flame sensor is basically when you have a flame sensor that is the sparker in one, but we have a remote flame sensor. So once you have done everything you need to do, you come down to the bottom and update control. I haven't changed anything in here, so I don't need to update it. I've already got this set up for the way I want it to run. But when you're done, you update control and it loads it up into the controller and then you're ready to rock. Now I've got the controller mounted and I didn't have to drill out any new holes. The holes matched up perfectly and I just had to use the longer screws that came in the box. So that's pretty awesome right there. So there was a jumper that went between the flame sensor and this jumper terminal here. And here it is in my hand. And if you have a remote flame sensor like we have, you have to remove that jumper. And it also states that in the instructions right here. So if you have a remote flame sensor, connect remote flame sensor, and there's the terminal right there that I pointed at, which is right here. So for connecting up the ignition cable, we have two choices here. We have a Raja and we have a spade connector. Now I don't have any Raja connectors on me, so we have used the spade connector because that is right here. And that is one of the, the benefits of this is you can choose either or to connect up your spark. Next we have our harness here. And the beauty is we can plug this harness right onto the board and then wire everything off the board so it's a little bit easier. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the wires that are utilized for this specific changeover and the rest of them can be disregarded. Now we have come to the rollout terminal. Now on the AllSpark here, there is no rollout terminal. So I spoke to tech support about that and what they told me to do is use the THW terminal, which is right here in lieu of it. All right, so we're all wired up. We're gonna obviously have to do some cable management here to clean this up. Now, this was pretty straightforward. The only thing I had a question on for tech support was the rollout terminal, as you can see on the second stage controller, there's a rollout terminal on the new one. There's not, but if we zoom in here, the THW is what we used according to tech support. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this wiring and we're going to run, test this module and make sure that the burner fires up down here. So here we go, we have the blower motor started. Our controller has got some lights going on it. Going through the pre-purge. You can hear it sparking. 
now it has lit. These York burners are really hard to see the flame, but you can hear it. It's lit. All right, so we're running now for, for quite some time, a few minutes actually. And as you can see, we have the LED moving here. But when I look physically, it's actually solid. So it must be the camera's rolling shutter that's causing this to happen. So what I would say here is the AllSpark is a great universal controller to take the place of many other controllers that are out there, like this one, for example. It takes the place of many controllers out there on many different units and many different applications. It was very easy to install, very easy to set up. You just gotta do a little bit of legwork and research on the existing controller and make sure your setup parameters are intact with the existing controller. But besides that, super easy install, super easy setup, guys. Great truck stock item to get out of a jam if you don't have the OEM part. But I'm out, guys. Happy HVACing.